one, zero. Ignition and lift off. We begin this week on a launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where a SpaceX rocket carried an Egyptian communication satellite into space. NILESAT-301 will provide broadband internet for the Middle East and Africa. The reusable booster carrying the satellite has previously launched crews to the International Space Station among a handful of other missions. Next, we visit Australia's Arnhem Space Centre from where later this month NASA plans to blast off its first rocket from a non-US commercial port. This is about not just uh, the uh, rocket launches itself, but it's about sending a message uh, to younger Australians and indeed Australians of any age who might be looking at, at retraining uh, for future careers of how important science is. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of science, technology, engineering and mathematics education or STEM as part of Australia's future. NASA looks to launch three research rockets beginning in late June from the facility owned by Equatorial Launch Australia and located on Indigenous land. In other news, NASA's problem-filled Artemis program took a step in the right direction this week as the agency prepared its 30-story space launch system rocket for a critical dress rehearsal. This follows an April setback in which NASA was unable to fill the rocket's fuel tanks. If all goes according to plan, and by now, that's a big if, NASA could launch the rocket carrying the Orion spacecraft on a passengerless flight around the moon later this year. Also this week, we remember cosmonaut Valery Ryumin, who went to space four times after becoming a cosmonaut in 1973. He spent a total of 371 days in space in two short missions and two record-setting long-duration flights. Ryuman died this week at the age of 82. Meanwhile, from Van Horn, Texas, space tourism company Blue Origin completed another successful trip after a subpar rocket backup system delayed the flight last month. The 10-minute six-passenger journey was the company's fifth crewed launch. To infinity. And beyond. Finally this week, out of this world news for fans of the Toy Story movie franchise. Disney's release of Lightyear explores the origins of a beloved character, Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear. For kids of all ages, the worldwide release later this month can't come soon enough. To infinity and beyond. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News. You do know no one ever listens to those. I know that. Narrating helps me focus.